Today we're opening two of the rarest Yu-Gi-Oh blister packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and as you guys saw we have these two epic blister packs and they were sent to me by Dr. Chickens for a battle. So we have these two blisters, we also have two absolute power force special editions that we're going to be opening against him. He's also going to be opening these packs as well, but he has a twist. He's going to be opening them with snakes or something like that. So if you guys want to see that, go check that out in the description below, but let's get to opening. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. This is a dark beating one summon skull, a gold red eyes black dragon. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications and let let me know what you think about this opening. Who won the battle between me and Dr. Chickens? I will also be opening some other bonus packs just so we have, you know, some more stuff to open. Those are not included in the battle. So we're going to start off with the Ghost for the Past. Of course, we love to open Ghost for the Past. I have a little bit of a Dimension Force or whatever it's called as well. So hopefully we can actually pull that Starlight Ghost Bell. That'd be nice. Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. Very good. And a Rose Spectre of Dunn. All right, let's go into another one of the, well, not another one, but a Dimension Force. And then we'll go into our Absolute Power Force Special Edition to see what that's about. I don't know where this foil will be. We got a Scareclaw Acro, Pendulum Scale. We got a Kernel of the Sea String. We got an Ice Jade Curse. We got Amphibious Bugroth, Scareclaw, Devouring Sarcophagus, and a Yakuza, Lord of the Eight Thunders. All right, it is time for Absolute Power Force. Can we pull a Ghost Rare out of here? How crazy would that be? I'd, I'd be down for that. Let's do it. Ghost Rare out of this special edition. There's some pretty cool cards in here. This set is like wild. Like whenever I open this, like a booster box, you never know how many foils you're getting. Even in like non-special edition packs, you'll get like 10 foils in a booster box. Or you'll get like four. It's like really strange and wacky. So not, not a lot standard about this set. So hopefully we'll get like four Ghost Rares in this pack. All right, our special, ooh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal. This is a very nice card. That's definitely got some value. It's had some reprints recently, but it's still a really nice card that has been used for a long time and is still pretty good. So hopefully that'll give us some value there. Let's see what we can do in this battle. Can we beat Dr. Chickens while well, he's being eaten by snakes? We got a Temple of the Sun. I know he survived, though, because he talked to me after he recorded it. So he at least didn't die. Magical Golem. We got the Triacular. Meteor Flare. We got the Inverse Universe. Psy Curse. The Rose Fairy. Lair Wire. And an offering to the Immortals. Okay, nothing in that one. That's okay. We got two more to go. Let's see what we can do. Absolute Power Force. And then, of course, our two blisters. The Forbidden Legacy and the uh, GX Ancient... What's it called? GX Special Edition? Just standard GX Special Edition. They're like, yeah, we don't need another name for that. Then they realized they were going to make 100 more Special Editions. <laughs> Black Potent. We got a Nature's Reflection. Great for Bastille. We got the Shredder. Ooh, Ninja Turtles. The Serpent Suppression. We got the Informer Spider. Power Invader. Shield Worm and a break draw i don't know if it'll come before or after the rare i always forget with these packs because it always changes up it feels like every other set it's a different direction like or a different place in the pack for these older packs all right or at least the five d's ones here we go let's see if we can find it uh gundari Supe, panda board rocket builder the ninja turtles we got the serpent suppression same order informer spider exact same ritual cage and a sword master. All right, the sword master, but that is uh, not a foil. Also, if you guys have not checked out my Twitch channel, I've been streaming every weekday early in the morning from 9.30 for a few hours. And then on Thursdays, we do Soul Link with Disc Encoder. So make sure you guys go check out that. It's in the link in the description. I also have a Pokey Rux channel that is coming. A lot of that stuff's coming from there. So go check out that channel as well. Let's get back to the opening. All right, let's go with a Dimension Force. We still have not pulled the ghost spell we haven't had a lot of luck with this set in terms of like starlights so let's see if we can break that here we got the exclusion scare claw with surprise chain all gold we got the scare claw alone we got the parasimonia that's not how you say that tiratanus we got the devouring sarcophagus and the changshi the spirit Ow. all right just a super rare there nothing really crazy that's why we have ghosts from the past for the crazy stuff don't worry we got the crazy stuff we got ghosts from the past we are gonna pull another ghost rare. let's do it okay a ferris very nice that's pretty strong vampire soccer and a vishuda very good for those sword soul decks for sword soul tindy i guess all right let's do dimension force i think we'll do the other absolute power force after this and save the big blisters for the end come on starlight Yamatoko, the Therion, we could put a plant. Krau Tengu, or the Crow Tengu, the Krau. The Krau Tengu, all right. We've got the uh, Knuckle Sword, the Jan Grepier. Ooh, and an Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph Dragon. I think this is one of the worst secret rares, but it is a secret rare. We'll take it. And the Exclusion, very nice. Now we have Ghost from the Past, Dose. What shall we pull? Will it be a Ghost or a Didi Savant Kepler? We got the Performance Pal and Protector of the Agent's Moon. It is the third pack. That's okay. One more pack, and then we're going to go into the Special Edition. Let's see what we can pull here. Vivitail, Mad Mauler, 
General Probe. Oh, and the Ruxin special first of the video. The extra pendulum super rare. Very nice, but that's okay. We can continue on to our special edition. Number two of this video. The first one went 0 for 3. We did not pull anything good, but we did pull a Red Eyes Darkness Metal as the bonus card, which was pretty strong. Let's see if we can do that again. I would take two of those for sure. We have another one red eyes darkness metal all right that's a good sign that's good for our value all right three more packs of absolute power force so far not much going on with absolute power force but all it takes is one pack with a ghost rare meteor flame or an ultimate rare would be pretty nice the reptilian naga we get the uh panda board spider's lair power supplier oil man majestic red dragon okay so it looks like it comes before the rare this is also worth something i think it got a reprint but it was like three dollars for a while majestic red dragon this is the cover card ultra rare it also comes in ultimate rare and ghost rare. i was about to say secret it doesn't come in secret actually it comes in ultra here as you guys can see very nice pull that we're taking that we're taking that the cover card of the set i also don't know if this is still worth something or not but we're gonna sleeve that up as well two packs to go absolute power force what can we pull all right let's uh we're running out of room here because i've had a lot on my desk recently here we go great fever stelle advanced force machine king of 3000 bc weeping idol Informer Spider, Power Invader, Rocket Builder, and Alien Brain. So that means Ascending Soul. Okay, nice, nice. Nothing there. That's okay. Third pack of the Special Edition. This will redeem us. This will bring something epic. Well, not redeem. We've already gotten a good pull, but it'd be nice to go two out of six instead of one out of six. Two, three, four. I think it would go here, so we're going to do that. We got a Grave Huber Stell, Steel, Stelle, Advanced Force. We got the Machine King 3000. Same exact cards. Weeping Idol, the Informer Spider, Power Invader, Rocket Builder, Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast. So funny. This is the first printing of this card, which is wacky if you ask me. And then an Alien Brain, again, trolling us with the Alien Brain. But still, cover card pull, not bad. Let's go back to some Ghost 2. Let's see what Ghost 2 can do for us. Can we pull something amazing? We have Void. Fossil Machine, Skull Convoy. All right. Yazi, pretty good pull, but uh, yeah, not crazy value there, but that's okay. Solid cards. We have Therion Stand Up, Heroic Champion, Divine Dragon. Oh, Rux and Special, Scareclaw Slash, Scareclaw Astra, and Dogmatica. All right. Nothing too crazy there, but that's okay. We have two more Epic Blisters coming up, and uh, we will open those after we open a couple packs here. Let's see. Well, let's probably start with the Legendary, or not the Legendary Collection, the GX Special Edition first. I think we'll do that. All right, we got Mad Maul. It looks like a magic card back there. Zombie Reborn, very nice. Scareclaw, solid cards, solid cards. But we are looking for a Starlight out of those. Here we are looking for a Ghost. We will not be satisfied with anything less. Dark Magician, the Dragonite, very nice. And Dotscaper. So we will get a Starlight right here. And then we're going to open the GX Special Edition, which is always very hard to open because they're very, uh, I don't know, not well packaged, I would say. We have Symphonic Warrior Guitars, Ancient Warrior Saga, Therion Reaper. Reverse Jar. We got the Symphonic Warrior DJJ. We almost struck some special, but we did. Backup Team. We got the Predator Plant. And a Scareclaw Rykar. We have an Ultra Rare out of here and a Surprise Chain. Pretty cool card. I think the Scareclaws are pretty cool, but I don't think they're too valuable right now. And now it is time for the GX Special Edition with the Always Error Elements of Wired Heart. It doesn't have the Secret Rare. It just has the Secret Rare name. Don't know if that was intentional or not, but I don't think it was. But everyone is like that. And then we have three packs. Let's get these out of here. I'm going to try not to bend anything. All right, we successfully got everything out. This is in very nice shape. We didn't actually bend it, which is cool. And then we have three packs. I believe these are retail packs. So we're hoping for like ultra rare pulls of the top cards. Maybe some nice ultimate rares of other cool stuff. Because like Lost Millennium does have a couple of cool ultimate rares in it that we could get from retail. So let's just see if we can pull them. I would say like uh, Ancient Gear Beast is a pretty cool one. I would like that. We have the Lone Wolf. The Dummy Golem. Battery Man AA, we got the Burst Inatrix, the Minefield Eruption, Death Wombat. Imagine if the Vanilla Elemental Heroes were actually ulti in here. That'd be awesome. Clayman. Ooh, and a Mega Rock Dragon. Very nice. That's a super rare. We will take Mega Rock Dragon. This is not a retail ulti, but we do uh, we can't get it out of a hobby box. This is a really beautiful card in ulti, but unfortunately, not an option. Next, let's do, I think, Elemental Energy, because we can get Cyber Dragon, like just super rare out of Cybernetic Revolution. So that'd be pretty awesome. Let's see what we can get out of Elemental Energy. We could get Shining Flare Wingman, which would be pretty awesome. Let's see if we can do it. Simultaneous Loss. We got Chthonium Palmer, Blade Skater, Oja Magic, W Wing Catapult, Weed Out, Familiar Possess Area, Chthonian Soldier, and that should be it, I think, and Dark World Lightning. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, Dark World's coming back. Maybe that's worth something. And finally, 
Not finally, but finally for this special edition. We have Cybernetic Revolution. Then, we, of course, we have Forbidden Legacy left, which is going to be pretty crazy. You can also get Cyber End in here. You can get Cyber Dragon. You can get Twi Cyber Twin Dragon. There's some really cool stuff. Bubble Man's just a regular rare. Let's see if we can pull something crazy. Tadpole. We got a Jetroid. There's some pretty good retail ulties in here as well. If we pull those, I'd be happy. Mad Lobster. We got a Tyranno Infinity Classic. Giant Kozaki. Gyroid. Transcendent Wings. Dang it. This would be such a cool retail ulti. Even in Unlimited, this would be amazing. I wish we had pulled that. Really beautiful card. All right, let's open a few more packs before we hop into the Forbidden Legacy Blister. One of my favorite products to open from old school Yu-Gi-Oh. Even though it's Unlimited, it is EN, which is pretty cool. And it's just a really nice product with the first three sets and then like the Blue Eyes Karibo. That was a Ruxin Special. Or Dark Magician Secret Rare. Another Ruxin Special too. It's This specific set is very hard to open. It's the way these cards feel. They're like super slick. All right, a few more ghost packs. Let's open these up. Let's see if we can get something good. Let's get a ghost rare. We have, oh, a Mardell. Mardell, not bad, Mardell, but we're looking for something else. Let's see if we can get something out of this dimension force right here. We got a Mad Mulder, Reverse Jar, Scareclaw. Oh, and almost a Ruxin Special with the Heroic Envoy. Whoa. This dude, oh, okay. I thought this was the, the, like a hood or a face or something. Then I realized that he's down here. I thought this was the arm. Okay, definitely saw that completely wrong. It is definitely not a hood. It's just, I don't know what it is. But uh, yeah, that dude was flying out there. Let's see. Let's see what we can get. Come on, go straight. No, Vision Hero increase. Vision Hero increase. Where's Multiply Guy at? We need to see that dude. I'm sure I've pulled him already, but, or not sure, but probably have. We have the Mad Mauler. Mad Mauler is creepy. If you don't like clowns, don't look at that. Parasimonia growth. Oh. Another Ruxin special. Shocking. With the Primitive Planet, Rykphobia. That is another ultra rare. Very nice. That's actually been pretty good. The Dimension Force, we've had some good pulls so far. I'm not uh, too upset with how we're doing there. Let's see if we can do that in Ghost from the Past, too. Just being comedy. Ooh, and an Eos Kluger. Not a bad card, either. And that's okay. Let's do one more of each, and let's hop into that blister. Can we pull something crazy out of here? Starlight, let's go. No Ruxin special. Therion Duke. Warrog Medium. And a mortal dragon. It is an immortal dragon. That's okay. Um, nothing in there, but that's okay. We have one more. Ghost from the past pack. Ghost from the past two, I should say, because there are two different ghosts from the past. Let's do this. Flint Krager and... Ooh, Crystal Beast, Rainbow Dragon. Not a bad one either, so... Nah, pretty decent out of there. Now let's see what we can get out of the blister. All right. Forbidden Legacy. I'm going to open this up off camera because it is also difficult to open and not bend anything. And then we're going to open up the packs. All right. We got everything out. Nothing was bent. I think we're going to save the Pop-Tart pack for the end. Let's go with Spell Ruler. EN pack. So 2003 pack or 2004 pack or five. I can I always get these mixed up, but uh, it has EN on the bottom. It didn't originally have that. So let's do this. All right. High Tide Geogen. You can see SRL-EN right there. Boar Soldier. Hamburglar Recipe, Sonic Bird, Tyon number two, Electric Snake, Minar, and Nimbabamonga is at it again. And we have a Chain Energy, regular common, very nice. Nimbabamonga, cool card, but not a foil. Actually, I think let's do Pop-Tart Pack before these, because I like these two sets a lot. So let's do this. It's a one out of three. It's Karibo, Dark Magician, or Blue Eyes. So obviously we want Blue Eyes. Let's see. I think it shows it right away. So we're going to do it like this. I think it's like this. Yeah. Okay. All right, it's definitely warped. You can feel it. You can tell it's a little warped. It's not that bad. Let's see. Oh, and we got the blue eyes white dragon. One out of three chance. We'll take it. It's actually not too... It's warped a little bit, but it, it's been a lot worse out of these before. And it's not bent, it seems. So we definitely got a nice one. Maybe we could even flatten it out and grade it at some point. It's not crazy valuable, but it does have some value if it's been graded. So we'll take that. Blue eyes white dragon. Very good pull out of a forbidden legacy. Two packs to go. You know we're saving metal raiders for the end. And now we have a legend of blue eyes legend of blue eyes this is one of the later i mean there's been multiple versions at this point there's first edition there's unlimited print there's unlimited red banner and then this one so this is like the fourth print of uh, north american people ask a lot like what are the different prints so yeah it's, it's later but it does have en which means that it is not a legendary collection reprint like from walmart it's not one of those here we go sandstone lesser dragon can we get a foil masaki legendary swordsman can we get a blue eyes to go with our blue eyes monster egg very nice numi ruko okay and Sogan, okay, nice card, and Mystical Sheep, okay, we have a long way to go, apparently, I just thought we were here for some reason, oh, and a Spirit of the Harp, all right, and a Metabat, Spirit of the Harp, just a regular rare, okay, we're over 2, that's okay, 
one more pack to go. So far, the theme is like the promos have been amazing. Like we got the red eyes, darkness metal. We got the blue eyes, white dragon, but the pulls haven't been great. We did get one cover card, which was pretty amazing. Now we have metal raiders. Can we pull gate guardian? Can we pull summon skull? I mean, we've had some amazing pulls on the channel before with these EN packs. Let's see if we can do it now. We got jellyfish, destroyer golem, mystic lamp, water emotics, a bickery bickery box. We've got the winged dragon, guardian of the fortress number one. Very nice. Ground attacker bug roth. Make sure you guys go check out Dr. Chicken's video down below. He did send me these packs to, for a pack battle, so it's pretty cool. Uh, so go check him out. I, I'm interested to see what the snake I I thing is. I don't know what's going on there, but let's see. Mylis Radiant. All right. Okay. Maybe that could handle the snakes and a Cybersaurus. So no pulls of the Forbidden Legacy. But we do get the blue eyes, which was pretty awesome. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. And don't forget to check out Dr. Chicken's video down below. Shout out to TCG, Trust Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, and Untie Show, Thomas McLean, and Seth Fisher. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.